Let's walk through the process from a thief's perspective. You've targeted a shiny new Tesla. What are you up against? First, you have to get inside without setting off the initial sentry mode alert. This means no loitering, no suspicious movements. Let's say you're skilled enough to bypass the door lock or you smash a window. Immediately the alarm starts screaming and the lights begin flashing, drawing massive attention to you and your illegal activities. Simultaneously a notification is zapped to the owner's phone telling them exactly what's happening. The clock is ticking. Now you're inside with the alarm blaring, you jump into the driver's seat ready to make a quick getaway, but the car won't budge. A prompt on the giant center screen demands a PIN code. You try a few common ones, 1234-0000-1111, but none of them work. Every second you spend guessing is another second that the owner is tracking the car's location and the police are getting closer. All the while, multiple cameras are recording your face, your clothes, and your every move from different angles. This footage is being saved, creating a perfect evidence package for the prosecution. Your plan has become a starring role in your future court case. Even if you get incredibly lucky, let's say the owner forgot to set a pin to drive, your problems are far from over. You manage to put the car in drive and speed away. You think you've done it, but the whole time, you're being tracked. The owner can see every turn you make on their phone. They can even limit the car's top speed remotely or honk the horn to mess with you. They will guide the police directly to you, whether you're on the freeway or hiding in a garage. Your getaway car is actively working against you. The joy of the successful heist would be very, very short-lived.